The latest data from the Commerce Ministry also shows that core sector growth remains sluggish at a mere 2.3 percent in the month of May. Uh, more importantly, the capex cycle is in the doldrums. This, remember, is the 11th consecutive quarter decline. Uh, Agam, is, in fact, is standing by to tell us what's going wrong as far as the capex cycle is concerned. Agam. Well, you know, when you see the, the other ma macro inflation data where you see the inflation actually easing, you have this other set of macro variables where uh, you don't see so much optimism coming in. As a matter of fact, when it comes to capital expenditure in the capital goods space, we are seeing quite a grim picture. So let me take you through that. For now, we're seeing a good decline as much as 66% in the new projects announcements in capital goods. And uh, as a matter of fact, they can currently stand around 78,400 crores. Uh, moving on to the manufacturing space, particularly, we are seeing a drop of as much as 47%, standing at around 54,400 uh, crores. And a lot of this pressure is coming in because of the environmental issues. Uh, you know, to actually for go in further and break this up, we have a significant decline in the road project announcements, a 95% drop, and another 46% drop seen in housing. Uh, once again, the pressure coming in as far as raw materials are concerned. And you know, to make matters worse, what's really not playing out really well is that the number of stalled projects has also actually gone up by around 6% on a year-on-year -year basis. And because of the lack of raw materials, which is adding further pressure. So overall, this certainly is not looking like a good picture when you consider capital expenditure in the capital goods space. Agam, thanks for that. Uh, interesting numbers there, Sajid. You know, that's the numbers coming in from the CMI, which talks about, you know, two big points, 66% down on new project announcements, a 6% increase in stall projects that Agam was mentioning about. Uh, and lack of raw materials continues, continues to be a big factor in all of this. When, when do you think... Uh, are you expecting a revival in this investment cycle? Yeah, I think this is really the, the wild card for the year. To be fair, uh, Harsha, there is no evidence to suggest so far uh, that there is anything that's picking up on the capital goods sector side. Uh, uh, in fact, if, if, you, if you look at PMI, for example, you find that new orders uh, are even weaker, have been falling for the last four months. Sure. So even demand in the manufacturing sector is not expected to pick up. Mm. Now, the mm. government needs to get credit for the fact that, you know, the Cabinet Committee on Investment has cleared a bunch of projects. Right. And maybe the gestation period is such that these projects will take another six, nine months to get kick-started. But for now, the concerns you raise are, the, for me, the biggest constraint on investment, which is stalled projects are at decade highs. And the problems really are to do with land acquisition, environmental clearances, coal linkages, raw materials. And, and the other worry is there are no new projects that are being announced. So even if the existing stock of projects eventually gets cleared, where is the pipeline for investment two or three years down the road? This really is the most uh, uh, biggest worry that we have at growth in India.